my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we talked to the Shiryu clan leader. He has a date for us. And we saved the girls for Simon to save her life. Can I help you? Today we're gonna go ahead and just take an exam because we still have to go like here. To and we're gonna do the Injincho proficiency. This one? Good luck. I don't have much faith in this. Uh, I may begin. What are the following arcade games currently set up running the club singing uh, uh Space Age. <sighs> That's Dragon Cart. Right? What area of the district is with board is the following words can be found in the district? Um or Rodriguez. Uh it's the Core River. And that's a good question because I didn't check that, but that's gonna be uh that one. <sighs> Did I screw up? <laughs> okay, I did screw up. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> Ready? You're the man! You're the man! You're the man! Did I miss two? I think I screwed up. Oh, freak, it's an intelligent boost. Oh, that's alright, okay. I want to say it was Dragon Cart, but we haven't seen Dragon Cart yet. You know. Let's do another. One. Can I help you? Which exam would you like to take? Oh, crap, ten of these. Animal this one? Make sure you have a pencil. We do need a weapon money thing, but uh animal sign. What the fuck is the longest body length? Uh is that a Komodo dragon? No, it's not. <sighs> it's not water crocodile. What is the fog is cute or fish? A manatee, right? Great word, shark is or fish? No, it's not. It's a mammal. Because they're penguins. Dodo. Uh, I don't even know what. Great onk, whatever that is. I'm over three. What the fuck is a herbivore? Beaver. Hey, I'm actually ready for one. Spider are commonly known as spin a web to catch their prey. Oh, don't no spider spell. The rest gonna have venom. I wish you could skip this. I mean, I passed. Hey, my kindness went up. By a lot. Oops. And my intellect went up a little bit too. Jack of a few trades? Let's do one more and then we'll uh, move on from here. Can I help you? We'll take an exam. Which exam would you like to take? Sega Proficiency Tier 2. This one? Make sure you have a pencil. Oh god, I gotta figure it out. Yeah, I know my Sega stuff. Okay, what if the following is not one of those comp? Uh. The Robo Pitcher? Um. Oh, it's like a fluid. Oh, duh, it's not the Sega Saturn. Could be here as a quest. Uh, Golden Axe, I believe. Uh, Zone 4 is Pensacola World where players to control a sending a space with the flight to get, uh, Fantasy Zone. <sighs> Here's... Uh, that one I don't have a freaking clue. It says black, so we're going to black. It's not skating, what else does the characters do? Is it graffiti? It is graffiti, okay. <sighs> I don't play just graffiti as a kid. And I'm the man still. We have a lot of good levels going. I got them all right. Cool. All right, let's move on with this today. So I know one of the side quests I need to do is I have to have a, ten of them done. So we're gonna avoid that for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit up this side quest. I'll see you guys when I get close. All right. Now that we're here, let's go talk to our man here. Delicious Chinese food right here. 
Nobody's fighting today. You just want me to ask about a son's relationship. There's no customers around, so that was probably a good Hey, you Yoda? Hi. Yes. Um, and you are Kasuga. Your dad told me a bit about you. Hmm? Huh? He did. I mean, he did. So, he, so that's what this is about. I'm sorry, Rip, you're in this city. Yeah. <sighs> you're just worried, you know. You personally, I think you gotta live how you want to live. Okay. I appreciate the support. But my dad can be able to protect you sometimes. Aren't they all? This means he cares about you anyway. You get pretty serious about this girl, huh? Hi. Of course I'm serious about her. I like to think we're dating with marriage in the cards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get you. So what kind of girl is she? Man, it's not. Miles not. Regular right now. She comes here a lot with her previous husband. He's divorced to her? Yes. Her husband was so busy with work, they never had time for each other. I guess you could say they grew apart. Her feelings just sort of drifted away. Sure. Miles has the most amazing smile. And she's been so kind of me since we first met way back when. She's almost like a mom to me, even I'm being honest. Always have encouraged. Dude's got mommy issues. Whoa, years all passed away when he was a little now and now he's Dang it. The divorce is really wet rough, I guess, so I tried to be a shoulder she can lean on through it all. I just wanted to be there for a woman who was there for me. I felt like I could make her happy. Oh I get it. So you fell for her after you started looking out for her. She's beautiful, I'll give you that. <laughs> I think so too. Hey. Okay, well, sounds like you got your head all straight mostly, but shouldn't you be talking to her about your dad about it? Mm. I wish I could, but I'm afraid that he's just Mal's son as a reason for not being good enough to check or something like that. It's really hard to talk to him lately? <sighs> yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Mm. It's hard to the right place, but I still feel bad for him. I can get some co classic cosmic counseling. Let's polish your skills. Yeah. Alright, so maybe you should follow up, brush up your cooking skills to prove you got what it takes. I think so too. I'm practicing every day. A whole 10 points. Well, I think it's good. It's good not getting results. Maybe you should get some kind of special training. That could help you. Oh. Special training? I know. Arigatou Thanks gozaimasu. for the advice, Kasuka san. Oh, you think it's something? Hi. I did. I'm gonna train another restaurant that my dad's finally accept me as a full fresh chef. Another restaurant? Yeah, I feel like I can run with my dad too much at our own place. If I train another restaurant, I can force me to fend myself alone on my own. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So, where do you want to go? There's a restaurant called Hinant. What the freak is with this tower today? Oh, yeah? Well, well that, you'd be surprised I turned your way. Hey, yeah. Oh, and I want me in trouble if Dad gets word of this. So, you, you keep. No, well. Well, I'll drink around. <laughs> sure, I got you. Arigato Thank you. Oh, we won't be surprised when he finds out. He raised me a single dad, so I can hope he can say thanks. After he's done. Get into the restaurant. I'll see you later. Yeah. He's a good guy. Things were serious. Tell his dad the good news if you want to see him. I mean, go Yuta. I mean, do what you need to do. Wait, is it already back up? Sweet. All right, let's go talk to his dad now. Hey, Yuda, where have you been these days? You come in home usually late. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing particular. So nothing, nothing you need to talk about, Dad. Eh? There's no time to fool around when you're still wet behind the ears. I'm not fooling around, and I'm not a kid anymore. Give me a break. What's that? Don't give me that lip. Uh-oh. Hold on. Yo, hold up. Everyone just calm down. Kasuga. Look, it's almost time I said I gotta go. You ready to give it up to that woman, aren't you? You're gonna grip a little brat? Yo. Hey, go easy on the kid. He doesn't care about me or this restaurant. Chinese cuisine looks simple, but it's surely actually complex. He's trying to do it with grandma. They have never mastered the art. Oh my gosh. This is how much longer he'll be around. If he stays his way he is, the restaurant will close for sure. And be back on the street. <sighs> I'm gonna never face my wife after that. She deserves a better father for her son. No. He's not the guy you think he is. He really does care about this place. I'm supposed to believe that? He's probably off of that husky right now. Take my word for it. That's not where he went. Then where did, where did he go? <sighs> All right, follow me. Okay. Huh? This is Hunted Tower. Hmm? You know it? Know it? The place is ranked the top spot for Izaki. He knows what is he doing here? Oh. Hey, new guy. Watch the heat, will you? Too much fire, you're gonna lose all the flavor. Sorry. And hurry with the prep for dishwashing. 
Cookies is fight, fighting his time. I'll forget that. Hi. Sir. That boy, I don't get it. He said he wanted to train at a place that even, that's even tougher. He thought maybe then you'd finally accept him at the chef. Alright. Go for your next. TikTok, remember? Yes, sir. You get it now? He's in before the round. He's really serious about his relationship. And he's working real hard to prove himself to you. <laughs> He'll be an amateur, but he's not an ungrateful one. I'd say you got a pretty cool son. <sighs> Yuda, why didn't you just say so? How could he? He knows you're a good dad, but you've been laying into him. This is his surprise. Don't tell him I told you. For your, his sake, alright? Alright. Come on. Let's get back to the restaurant. We don't want to run, run into him. Right. Whoa! Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that, Yudakon. Looks like I bumped into you. Huh? Watch where you're walking. It's got money, you know. Ow. Sorry about that. That's twice now, right? Gotta be more careful. <laughs> what? But you tripped me last time, too. I'm sorry, what? You backtalking us? No, I'm sorry. I have to make it again. Or maybe we have to go out and get the ingredients in our place as punishment. Yes, sir. <coughs> Douchebag, that's what you do like. Monty! That. Hey, hold on. Huh? Piss this jack off. Treating my Yuta so, so horribly. Wasting food. You call yourself Shebs? Huh? One of your gold. <sighs> A simple push. Hey, you okay? Oh. So you're his old man? Who teach you tell him something for us? Don't get all fired up for something you don't know crap about. <laughs> Seriously, we can't we just wanna take it easy. That kid's a pest. Yo. At least, at least he gives a crap. You two ain't worth anything. The heck? You could have no right to make fun of you, though. Huh? You're trying to start something, pal? Finally got someone who's trying the best to chain to hate you guys like you. That's right. Well there's one thing I hate, it's uppity old craps like you. Okay. <laughs> Well. 24. Let's see if they get one shot. No, they don't. Well, I wonder if can I just auto attack him to death? Not with another follow up. Alright, uh, we're gonna get auto attacked out of the way. And jump <laughs> 10 grand I will never not complain about. So we'll keep that. I guess lay a hand on you again. I'll shove a takeout box. <laughs> you got that? We're sorry. Aw. I asked him to go out and get me more ingredients. Where do they go? Crap, it's Senpai. We can't let him see it's like this run. You okay? Mm. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, we bothering him anymore. Come on, let's head back. Okay. I mean, that was a really hard fight, guys. Thanks for everything, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. No, I've relied on you for everything. This is the least I can do. Please, take it. Court tongues. Looks like he started thinking more like an adult. And here I thought he was still a boy. I wanted him to hurry up and be independent. But maybe I was the one depending on him. I'm back. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> what now, Dad? Another lecture? You to... Can you make some fried rice? I'm, uh, getting a little hungry. Huh? Just make it yourself. Come on, Utah. Make some. For me, too. Huh? Uh, oh, all right. Quick for Thanks for waiting. Two orders of fried rice. Hey, looks pretty damn tasty. <laughs> we'll, uh, see about that. Here goes. Mmm. Yup, I was right. No way an amateur made this stuff. I think maybe you got better, huh, Yuta? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how was it? You're definitely improving, but it's still not quite there. Damn it. This fried rice. It's a little too salty. Dad? So much for honesty. Uh. 
That's kind of funny. He's like, yeah, I actually do kind of like this. Ignore me. Alright, that's another one done. Wait, 27. Dang. 20 out of 52 done? That's a lot of progress done. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright, so what I decided on was a side quest that I haven't touched yet. And what many, oh, among the lot of many games I haven't touched yet. And Dragon Card is up there. We saw it before a while ago, but we never really touched it. So let's let's do it. Hmm. Oh, that's hey, you there? Yeah. Ever thought about entering the wild world of Dragon Cart? Huh? Dragon Cart? The hell's that? <laughs> Dragon Cart is the cart racing sensation that's taken this town by storm. You've seen go karts in amusement parks before, yes? Oh, go karts. Yeah, I don't hate them or anything, but I don't really have time to goof off in an amusement park. I'll see you around. Wait, 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 hold on now. Just a moment. Dragon Cart is quite different from your regular run of the mill go karts. Okay. Yeah, how so? Unlike those peaceful amusement parks, Dragon Cart makes its home right here in the lawless streets of Yokohama. You mean around town? That's right. You can even attack your opponents during the race, thanks to the various upgrades we have available. Sorry, did you say attack? Boy, did I. Of course, you can be attacked as well. There's a limit to how much damage your cart can take, too. Take too much, you'll be stopped dead in your tracks and lose out on time. So you need to be extremely careful. Sounds pretty extreme for go-karting. Hence the name Dragon Cart. You can also pick up items on the track to help you along during the race. Use any means necessary to get that checkered flag. So, what do you think? I managed to catch your interest? Definitely sounds more fun when you throw in that bit about attacking each other. Keep ahead of the pack with speed, or take down your rivals through brute force. These options are just another part of Dragon Cart's many charms. You'll be started off with Ow. a fairly standard cart, but you'll later be able to upgrade it to your liking. Anyway, I think at this point it might be best if you try getting behind the wheel yourself. Not give it a spin when you get some free time. Dragon Card. Racing around Yokohama does sound pretty fun. Maybe I'll try it out. Sure. Hell yeah. Let's give it a go. Please do. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Fujisawa. I organize the races here at Dragon Card. Okay. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, Fujisawa san. It's nice to meet you. Now, let's get you into a cart. Right on. I'm wondering how bad this is going to be. What the freak? What? Oh, God. This is fully fledged out, isn't it? Drive around, drift around cult curves. Whatever box overhead, you can pick up two, press B to use it. Colliding with the rival's quarter gets stuck with by an item or your card's durability. When your debris depletes, you crash and lose time. The quarter creates your max speed as well as a covered dirt die. Okay, what's this is bad. I can't wait. Let's do this! Damn it! Move it! I'll see ya! Slow down, turbo! Oh god, there's like Oh gotta go fast Okay Ammo Okay 
gun? It's literally a gun. Oh, freak. Screw you guys, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Like, I gotta go over there. Okay, so this really isn't that bad of a mini game. Kind of fun, actually. Uh oh. I screwed up. Alright. Well, we won almost a near disaster. Ah! Look over lap! All bets are off! Now I'm getting fired up! I mean, this thing's pretty slow, though. Eh, uh, didn't turn that one quite well. But, I mean, this isn't bad. Ah, uh, man, the field goal was good. Well, that was an actual victory over this. So, Dragon Guard's kind of fun. Okay. I don't have a lot of mini games to point to, but, you know. <sighs> so, how was your first race? Yeah, it's way different than driving a normal car. Definitely a thrill. Fun, too. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I hope you'll consider entering one of the tournaments next time. If you thought that race was exciting, just wait till you see what comes next. And please talk to me should you ever feel like entering. You can ask me for time trials and customization as well. So think of me as your one-stop shop for all things Dragon Cart. Yeah, sure thing. Aren't you the guy that was racing earlier? Huh? What? Hey, you're right. Nice driving out there. <clears throat> what? Oh, hey! Naoki-san, Ai-san, Hamanoumi-san. Uh, aren't they cold? Great job out there! Very nice driving. Think so? I felt like I was barely trying. <laughs> So, you a new driver? Let me introduce you. This is Ichiban Kasuga-san. Today was his first time in a kart. Oh, I see. Then hey, we might end up in a tournament sometime. Just know that if we do, I'll crush you. <laughs> <laughs> you better say your prayers. See you later, rookie. But if you value your life, it might be better for you to just watch, you know? Hold up. Huh? I gave you all your say, but damn if you don't talk a lot of trash. You guys got me pretty fired up. But you're gonna be eating my dust next race, so be sure to open wide. <laughs> Some talk. You better remember those words. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, now! It's all fine and dandy to get heated, but I won't allow any fighting. If you're gonna have at it, settle it on the track. <laughs> I mean... Bye-bye, Fujisawa-san, Ichiban-kun. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, as you can see... The racers in this town are rather unique, and they're strong to boot. They're <laughs> definitely something. Uh, so wait, who all am I going up against exactly? Let's see. First, we have, uh, Naoki-san, a former Olympic wrestler. He's got power and reflexes, and if you let your guard down, he'll tear both you and your cart in half. Hama Naomi-san, a sumo wrestler who holds third seat in the Maigashira rank. 
His immense power keeps others from following behind him, and he'll run you off course in no time flat. Naoki-san and Hamanoumi-san are known as the dreaded two-headed bomb. Isan, a dealer at a casino, known as the speedster of Hama. She is unrivaled when it comes to straightaways. The Madam Matsuko-san, she puts the majority of her husband's money into her car. <laughs> A formidable veteran driver who will obstruct anything and everything that gets near her, be it a cart or a small child. She's also fairly speedy, and together with Isan, she forms one half of a duo known to some as the Rocket Girls. Suguru-san, a public trading company employee, a true intellectual. He learns each and every inch of the course through his superb analytical skills, shortcuts and all. Akira-san, leader of the biker gang Agepoyo and conqueror of Ibaraki. He's in the race in hopes of expanding his territory to Kanagawa. His use of motorcycle technique is brilliant, and the graceful beauty of his cornering, combined with the malice and cruelty of his attacks, is truly a sight to behold. The Yakuza Jin-san, a super aggressive racer. It's said the man is the definition of hell on wheels. Together, Suguru-san, Akira-san, and Jean-san are known as the Drift Musketeers, and they are a huge hit with the ladies. Okay. Okay, that should cover all the recent entrants. They're all rather formidable opponents, but don't let that intimidate you. Hell of a lineup. If you can win among these racers, then you're a sure competitor for the top racer in the country. Get out there and do your best. I gotcha. All right. Let's do this. Just let me know whenever you want to race. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, you got it. I'll come by again later. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Dragon Card off screen. A dragon Card, huh? Sounds like it'll be fun. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'll stop by when I have time. We have time now, Kasuka. <laughs> He's sure to be a fun racer to watch. Easy enough. So I know there's like a several Dragon Cart quests associated with that. So that's gonna be a fun time. Alright, so we now have Dragon Cart unlocked. Huh. That sounds easy enough. Guys, next one y'all can like a dragon. We maybe do more side quests. We'll see.